we, we have a new tutorial series aimed mainly at beginners new to Android. In this tutorial series, we're going to be creating an application that uses the storage access framework. And we're going to be opening a document, which in this case will be an image, and then displaying that document in our application, such as the example I've been showing here. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials, my name's Nigel. As I explained in the, the intro, we're going to be creating an application targeted towards beginners, which is just going to be called Image Viewer. So loading a photo image and displaying it in your application using the storage access framework. Okay, let's, let's make a start. And in this application, it's just going to be for the look and feel part of the application. So we're just going to show what the application is going to look like. And in this particular type of application, it's going to be quite a simple look and feel setup. So we're going to create a brand new Android project from start. So click start new Android project. And I'm going to call this image viewer. Views an image, loads an image, views an image. I'm just going to keep the settings here. Note, I'm setting the minimum SDK to 21, but you could probably use less if you wanted to. Um, and I'm, I'm running on um, Marshmallow here, so my current uh, SDK version will be uh, 23. Select Next. Okay, I'm going to select Empty Activity. I don't want any additional code in there. That just makes it easier for the tutorial purposes. So I'm selecting an empty activity, not a blank. Minimum amount of code possible. Select next. And I'll just call it the name. I'll just call it image viewer. Let's say main activity. And then finish that. And now wait for Android Studio to configure the project. Okay, the project's now been configured. Right, the first thing you'll see when you create a brand new Android project is you'll be taken into the source file, the Java source file here. And this is the main um, class, the main activity class you see here. And you've got one overridden method inside your activity. The activity is a representation of what you see on your application screen at any one time. So if you've got different um, displays on your application, you'll probably have an activity for each one. So we're only gonna, we've only got one display, we've got an activity assigned to that, and this is where we do the initialization of displaying your screen, which this is basically what we call a collection of views in our layout. Okay, now, I, now we want to go to the layout file because this is where we're gonna be doing the look and feel. So if you click on resource, res resource and then click on layout and now there's only one source file there I'm going to select that just double click on that so this is what I'm seeing here and by default Android's given me what we see here which is a text view hello world so it's already providing a bit of a basic display for this application so I don't actually need that um, I'm going to remove that because what we're going to be doing here is not displaying text we're going to be displaying an image on our application. Anyway, down here you'll notice that we've got two tabs, text and design. And so they give us two different representations of this layout file. So this whole file is a layout file. And if you look here, you've got relative layout. So you can have different types of layouts. For relative layout, this means we, we've got a certain amount of flexibility by positioning our views on the display. Anyway, let me click to design and see what happens. Okay, currently in this moment in time, what is it, December the 15th, 2015, there is a slight error in my um, version of Android OS, which, which shows up in Android Studio. So we'll put a quick fix to this. The fix is, if we go into Values, and then select Styles, 
and go to this line here, theme at compact. Now we need to append another word in here. It needs to be base dot and save that. Now if we go back to our relative layout, there we have it there. Okay, so we had to implement that fix will probably be fixed in a later release of either Android Studio or Android OS. It's just showing up at this moment in time, December 2015. Okay, so we've got a view here. I don't need that. I don't need the views showing text, so we can just click select the delete here. Okay, we need I want to add a view for my look and feel layout. I want to add what we're calling an image view. It's down here, you can see we've got an image view. And that I can use that to display an image, quite self-explanatory. So it's just a matter of selecting that and dragging it to the display. I'm going to put it in the top left-hand corner, and now I'm going to just leave that as as it is. Okay, I'm going to make no more changes in here. We're actually going to get our fingers dirty and go into the source code. So select the tab text down here, we're back into here, you can see our image view here and if we look at the layout width and height of our image view, it's saying wrap the content, so whatever the size of the image in this case is, wrap around it. Um, I'm going to change that to setting a uh, full screen size for the image. So we need to change these two lines here to match parent and we'll do the same there okay so basically we want to fill the entire screen for, with the image is what we're trying to achieve here and if we go back to the design tab you'll see the box here is now wrapping around the entire screen here so that's basically the look and feel of that is displaying a full image very basic but hopefully you are all new to android so you know, you are learning something at this stage. Now I just want to do one more thing. At the moment we've got an image view and a layout in the XML file. What I want to do is to be able to access that image view inside code. And so we're going to have to go into our source code here. And inside here I'm just going to make some changes here so we can access that image view and put a bitmap into that image view which will then display an image. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to create an image view member inside my activity class. So if we just type image view, and I'll just call it image view, and I need to press, I'm on a Mac here, I need to press option enter just to get the library for the image view. That's been added as such, and we had semicolon at the end. Um, let me just go back, I just, let me just call this a member for naming conventions in uppercase I. So I've got member image view here. Okay, the next step here is I want to access the image view from the layout file. So to do that, I can go inside the onCreate method and we'll call our image view. And now we need to do what we call the cast of the image view. So basically whatever we get back will be shaped into an image view. And now inside of activity, we've got a method to find a view. So it's find view by ID and what now okay let me double check to see what the ID of that file is. So if I go back into my layout file here we assign it an ID it's on this line here with and it's the ID is called image view. So that's pretty easy to remember. Let's go back into the source code and type image view. There it is there. Put a semicolon on the end there. And that's it to the look and feel. So basically, let me run this application just to see what happens. We won't expect to see much happening. Let's just make, just make sure we can run our application. So I've got a Nexus 5X, make sure that's turned on. Now let's click on this play button here. Select OK. Make sure you can see your device up here and it's saying it's online and compatible, all good stuff, and select OK. So basically, you've just got a blank display here. That's fine, we haven't done anything else. We haven't even searched for an image and attempted to load that bitmap into this image view. 
So you should be seeing a black blank screen, no, um, no crashings or anything. Okay, the last step here is let's just reinforce what we've done here. So I'm just going to put a breakpoint here and introduce you to another tool in Android Studio. So if you look up here, we've got this tool up here, which is the debug tool. Basically, that just means you can stop in various places in your code and just see what's happening with your variables. So, and yeah. Okay. Let's take the debug. Again, it's just like running the code. And as you can see here, I've now, I put a, what we call here as a breakpoint. Basically, I selected in this column here. And I've set up a breakpoint to show this line of code here. And so basically, all we're doing is initializing and assigning the image view from the layout to our member here. So that's all we've done. But what this means here now is we can now start calling methods from this image view to do things to it. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial series. It's going to be broken into nice small parts to it. And if you want to be um, notified of the following tutorials in this series, click on that subscribe button down below. And if you like social media, you can see I've got a number of social media accounts. I've got Twitter, I've got Facebook, I've got Pinterest, and I've got Google+. Plus. So you can visit any of those. If you're running on a PC, you can click on those um, buttons um, there. And directly above me is a, a link to my website, and there will be an accompanying tutorial to this posting with the code examples there as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching, and bye for now.